are back. We are back. Hi there. And uh, in this exciting segment, we're, as always, going to our unqualified and uh, underprepared political analyst. This is the one and only Mpeng Marobe. Hey, Mpeng, how you been? You know, Chester, one day you're going to regret those insults you keep throwing my, my way. Just you wait and see. Listen, Mpeng, I, you know, I'm very excited about the minimum wage. It's happening. What's going on with it? Like, what, what are the parameters? How much are people earning? What's so, up? So before we get into it, let me just uh, quickly explain to you, since I know you don't know anything about these things, no. exactly what the minimum wage is. Mm. So basically, the government has made it a law now that you have to pay somebody that you employ at least 20 rand an hour. So if you can do maths, which I know you can't, oh, you that have, adds up to... taking little stabs at my maths ability. Okay, fine. Keep going. That's about 800 rand a week and something approaching 3,500 rand a month. Wow, that is, fan that is fantastic. I mean, that's really exciting that we finally have a line in the sand about what people can earn. Well, I know it seems like a good idea, Chester, but if you know anything about the reality of South Africa, then you would probably think that this is going to have many unintended consequences. No, I, I don't think that. I think that people are finally going to be saved from the poverty line. What do you, what well, do you say? Well, okay, saved from the poverty line. You do realize that unemployment in South Africa, the official unemployment rate anyway, is probably something around 28%. And if you take yeah. away uh, economics voodoo, that the true unemployment rate is probably something deep in the 40% range. So that means that millions wow. and millions of South Africans don't have a job at all, Chester. You are one depressing dude. You're, wow, you're making me unhappy. Oh, come on, man, seriously. People need to have some sort of line. They need to help people who have jobs. You're acting like people who have jobs are getting paid enough. That simply isn't true, dude. You have to remember that in South Africa, we are already supporting lots of people who are doing jobs that nobody probably needs. What? I mean, do you, you know, mean for you instance? right now? That's what you mean. You right now. All right. For instance, Chester, there's about 70,000 petrol attendants in this country. And if you've watched any kind what? of movie, you know you could figure out how to do it in about two minutes. Well, are you attacking a petrol attendant? Hey, hey, dude, hey. dude, there are thousands of people who that's how they have paid for their entire families. You can't just throw them out like that is insane. I Besides, have... petrol attendants make sure we have a decent service delivery at the petrol stations. What? I can't believe. Do you know that Luis Sogola was once a petrol attendant? Do you yes, know that? Yes, I you know, know that. You respect and that, do you? he stops because it's not a thing that somebody should be doing, really, Chester. You know, I don't know how you got this job. That is, again, throwing us off the point. Okay. That people who are employed need some way to protect themselves. I mean, come on, man. So, this is meant to protect the most vulnerable members of society. Okay. And it's better than a handout. At least people are doing a job. I know you're a puppet, Chester. But you've never left the builder's warehouse and not seen somebody out there looking for a job, painting houses or cutting trees or whatever it is that they do. Now, you're telling me that if I only have 50 bucks and I want to pay that person 50 bucks to do the job, that they should go report me to the CCMA. L listen, dude, if you only have 50 bucks, then you mustn't get your building painted. You just have to deal with that. If you own a wall and you only have 50 bucks, then you're a bit useless, to be honest. That is so crazy, Chester. So you're saying those people shouldn't be trying to hustle, shouldn't be trying to make a living. No, we should just leave them there on the side of the that's road. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you should pay them a decent wage. You must get what you can afford. You mustn't now try and, and, and build your own economy at other people's expense. Do you know that 10% of this country gets 65% of the income? That is absolutely inconscionable, and you're acting like that's normal. You're a sellout of an nth degree. I can't even... Look, Chester, I, nobody's I pretending ending like apartheid didn't happen. We all know that's true. We all know that some people have all of the skills no, and opportunities. but that is what you're busy doing right now. You're literally doing that. That is what you do. Apartheid was built on the idea that you can pay people nothing and that makes, uh, because, you know, eventually they'll survive and they'll climb I up. I believe what you're ladder. doing is confusing slavery and apartheid. No, I'm not confusing They're slavery. They're not exactly the same thing. Ultimately, the problem is you're trying to apply morality to what is fundamentally an economics problem. Okay, explain. Okay. Really, the truth is, nobody should be doing low-pay work around here. No people shouldn't have... That to is exactly what I'm saying. The minimum wage protects people from low-paid work. I mean, how are you not understanding this? How is this? the minimum wage going to... What were your woodworkers... This is... No, man. That, this is what the minimum wage is for. It's to protect the poorest in our society, people who have low-income jobs, who are earning like 3,000 rand a month, which is most of the economy, and you're saying that's a bad idea. There's only two ways out of this problem for South Africa, all right? The minimum mm -hmm. wage is not going to help us when it in any way and is in fact probably going to have very many bad unattended consequences, right? The 
rich countries of West in the first world are already grappling with this problem because of automation, robots, AI. You've yeah. seen all the chaos that Uber has caused yeah. in South Africa, et cetera, et cetera. All of that is coming. We can't stop it, right? So there's kind of two strands of ideas of how to deal with this. Yeah. There's something that's called the basic income grant, yeah. which is essentially the government just we gives We kind of have that, don't we? That's what these social grants are. Uh, not really. I don't get anything. But no, but you don't it. deserve anything. Have you seen how you're doing on this show? <laughs> then the other way, Chester, is the Chinese model. Now, you realize that 40 years ago, China was one of the poorest countries in the world, and they yeah. decided they wanted to be rich. Yeah. So what did they do? Well, they exploited their workers like crazy, didn't they? I mean, they must have a minimum wage in China, surely. And they no, were communists, those guys. Definitely not at all. That, in fact, unions are banned no, in China. I, why are we copying China? Of... People are committing suicide off the top of the Apple building. I mean, I mean, you're not really a very kind person, are you? I don't know. I you're the kind of person a... that kicks puppies. That's what you look like. I may not be very kind, Chester, but I'm a kind person with a painted house. Seriously, I'm paying. Why don't you care for poor people? People are going to kick you in the street when they see you at this rate. They're going to really kick you in the street. Well, well, Chester, if you care so much about fairness, I guess when we're done here, you're going to show me your pay slip, and you and I are going to be paid the same for this. Don't be ridiculous. You're useless. I'm a genius. Don't go away. We'll be back right after this.